what is the clinical picture the clinical picture is uh, let me again give a simplified version there was a child it will be a uh, two types of histories will be there one history child got a viral infection was improving suddenly deteriorated went into hepatic decompensation that is one scenario second more common scenario will be child got viral sore throat was advised aspirin by someone and around third fifth or sixth day of viral illness when the child is improving after there will be improvement in the symptoms for a few days there will be sudden onset deterioration and the deterioration will make, will take a very characteristic picture there will be vomiting in the patient within 12 hours of vomiting the patient will become lethargic there will be altered sensorium and in the next 24 hours there will be rapid progression leading to the usual features of hepatic encephalopathy and if you do lab findings you will check there will be severe hepatic dysfunction the classic thing the uh, interesting thing will be there will be no jaundice despite severe involvement of the liver this picture is what may, should make you think that this is ray syndrome in fact there is one of the older review articles which says presence of severe jaundice at the onset should take the diagnosis away from ray syndrome so clinical picture says there is an acute viral illness which is usually resolving suddenly develops acute onset of vomiting and altered sensorium as initial feature of encephalopathy seizures will occur in more than 80% usually in stage 2 and 3 stages of uh, encephalopathy stages of ray syndrome will be due in some time hepatomegaly may be present hypoglycemia also may occur there will be no jaundice no fever and normal serum bilirubin uh, metabolic acidosis may happen with or without respiratory alkalosis due to hyperventilation as a compensatory mechanism and uh, liver function tests otherwise may be deranged there will be hyperammonemia that is increased blood ammonia levels and coagulopathy which will manifest in the form of prolonged pt and prolonged inr in the patient